Hello, I'm back and I think I can confidently say that this is the last video for me before Christmas, okay? I know I uh, may have made several recently, but I think this will be the last one um, because, well, the reason I'm here today is because Kevin, sweet Kevin, I woke up to an email from him with a Chipotle gift card just out of nowhere. He's so nice. He's done that for me a few times now and I so appreciate it. So I emailed him, thanking him and telling him I'll probably get Chipotle today and here I am. Um, I have not gotten a Chipotle burrito in a really long time and it sounded delicious because I love their tortillas. So here it is, it's tiny. Look how tiny this thing is. Uh, I feel like most Chipotle burritos are massive. There's a weird sound. Um, but mine is small and it's because all I get is white rice, chicken, cheese, and sour cream. It's so good. Look at her. She's delicious. I also feel like they put a lot less food in the burritos these days. I usually get a bowl, and I know you get more food in the bowl, but the amount of food that was in my burrito today was sad. It's fine. Everything is fine. They did not give me napkins. That's okay. Because everything is fine, and we're gonna have a great day. Um, happy week before Christmas. Not very colorful, but it sure is tasty. I am gonna get. I have two measly napkins. Hopefully, it's enough to get us through. It'll be fine. Um, I've been so busy with Christmas things. So last week, I'm just gonna unwrap this. Last Tuesday, uh, well, in one of my recent videos, I think two videos ago, I was saying how I've been struggling to get in the, into the Christmas spirit, but I'm there, I'm in it, and it all started because last Tuesday, um, we took the youth group at my church, we took the 11 to 14 year old, well 12 to 14 year old boys and girls to go see Christmas with the Chosen. Do any of you watch The Chosen? It's a series, I think on Prime Video, maybe. I don't know if that's right. I don't, I've never watched it. Um, but it's a series about the life and ministry of Jesus. And they did a Christmas special and it was so good. It was so good. There was a lot of beautiful, <clears throat> half of it was like music um, from different groups, a children's choir, this beautiful family of musicians, um, several different people. And then um, half of it was like the story of 
Christmas as told by Mary and Joseph combined with the story of Christmas as told by the shepherds or like from the perspective of the shepherds and it was very neat it was really cool I really liked it I may have shed a couple tears and it just it did its job it was really good So it was Tuesday <clears throat> and then Friday um, we had our my company Christmas party <clears throat> and that was a fun time we picked up my friend Ashley and her husband because they're on the way she lives by us now and so she was on the way to my office or to wherever we were having the party not at the office um and we rode with them and that was fun dinner was so good we had italian food um there was a caprese salad there was a delicious Alfredo pasta with cavatappi. Is that how you say that? Kind of like similar to macaroni. I would say macaroni's older, cooler, sexier cousin. It was really yummy. It had bacon in it. It was very good. And then there was a yummy chicken and like a tomato basil cream sauce. Pacha bread, <clears throat> gnocchi, um, beef marsala with the most delicious risotto. Oh my gosh, that risotto was so good. I'm gonna be dreaming about it forever. And then for <clears throat> dessert, they had chocolate chip cannolis and a uh, limoncello cake. And that was tasty. They had <clears throat> a live band. music and dancing it was really fun but I have a question <clears throat> oh also on Thursday to help get me the Christmas spirit Ashley and I got our nails done and I got this cute little snowflake on this finger I can't do that a tiny little snowflake she's cute love her um, but the, we went to a new nail salon that we'd never been to before and they gave us a lotion as a Christmas gift and the lotion's honestly a 10 out of 10. So that was fun. But my question is this. So the Christmas party went from 6 to 11 and then apparently some people, we left at like 9.30. Um, I later found out that some people went to like an after party at this bar downtown. Sorry, there's just like a big chunk of cilantro and I'm not interested in the big chunk of it. Um, until like all hours of the night. And here's my question. I understand that's fun if you're like out drinking and dancing and partying, whatever. But do sober people also do that? Because like as a sober person, I feel like I wouldn't have fun if we're just going to the bars. I'd rather be at home in my bed. If I were drinking, I feel like I'd be all about that. So if you're a sober person, are you going to an after party after a work Christmas party? And I feel like 
my coworkers who were drinking would be annoyed by me not drinking because I wouldn't be able to match their level. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be a fun time for them or for me if I, as a sober person, went and partied with them at the bars. I don't know. And then, Saturday, we had Christmas with my family. And it was pretty fun. <laughs> We did brunch at this delicious restaurant that I'd never been to before. It was a great meal. And then we went to <clears throat> this, uh, it was called Holiday Reflections at Union Station. Basically just like a fun, a bunch of fun like set up light displays and like photo ops. There was a little train for the kids. I don't know. And then we donated some things at the giving machines. <clears throat> if you live in a city that has the giving machines, I would highly recommend you go and donate. It's super fun. It's like a reverse vending machine. Uh, maybe I can put the link, I'll put the link in the description so you can find out if there's one near you. But they started a few years ago as part of a Christmas campaign that my church puts on called Light the World. And the giving machines, they're in a lot of major cities, but and some smaller ones too, I think. It's a reverse giving machine. I mean, a reverse vending machine. So you select, and it, okay, it supports local charities to your city, but then also global charities, which is very cool. And you choose things and buy things that then like drop down for you to donate to other people. So we did like school supplies. Um, we did a sheep, which I think is so fun. Um, Keep in mind, the physical objects are not in the vending machine. It's just a little card that represents the item that you're buying and it drops down, so it's kind of fun to see. But school supplies, therapy, um, a veteran's like remembrance ceremony, which I thought was cool, um, warm coat and gloves, um, a week of fresh produce. There's all sorts of options and it's very cool. So we did that. Then we picked out ornaments. And we just hung out for a little bit. Played games. Watched some college basketball. Then we went to Joe's came to the city for some barbecue. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> then it was a long day we went to enchant which was um like this huge light extravaganza, I don't know. <clears throat> there was a maze in there. There was ice skating, delicious hot chocolate, music, 
food trucks and shops. I don't know. It was fun. It was a long day though. It was very fun. And now here we are. I'm officially in the Christmas spirit. Very excited. I still don't know what Brent and I are going to do on actual Christmas day. We might do a Chinese buffet for lunch. Because I hear some people do that. It's like a family tradition. It kind of sounds fun. We like Chinese food. And then we're going to go see the movie Anyone But You. The new one with Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney. Should be good. We'll see. Tonight, our youth group is, um, Tortilla is so chewy. <clears throat> We're decorating sugar cookies and delivering them to a few families in our church congregation who could use a little, a little extra Christmas cheer. Thank you, Kevin. That was delicious. I need to get a burrito more often at Chipotle. I always get the bowl. And if I don't get the bowl, I get the tacos. But that burrito was 10 out of 10. Thank you again so much. I will not be back before Christmas. I don't think. <laughs> no, I won't. So have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Is Hanukkah over? I think it might be over. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. I probably will see you before the new year though because I'm off week off work all next week. Um, but happy Christmas. Thank you, Kevin. That was delicious. Goodbye.